This problem shows a simple material balance. We have a mixture of methane and air, and it's capable of being ignited only if the mole percent of methane is between 5 and 15 percent. So we have a mixture that contains 9 mole percent methane and air, so that's a flammable mixture, and it's flowing at a rate of 700 kilograms per hour. And we want to dilute it with pure air to reduce the methane to the lower flammability limit. In other words, 5%. And again, these are mole percents. Find the flow rates of the air coming in and the exit stream, and finally find the mole fractions of N2 and O2 exiting the system. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw our picture. So here's our system, and we have coming in a flow rate of 700 kilograms per hour, and this is 0.09 moles of methane per mole of mixture. So it's 0.91 air. We have a second stream coming in, that's completely air. And finally, we have a stream that is 5 mole percent methane, which means 95 percent air. So the first thing we have to look at is what are our unknowns. And we certainly don't know the amount of air coming in or the exit stream. In addition, though, our stream here is an unknown because although we're given a mass flow rate coming in, we have mole percents of methane and air. We don't know this stream here, and we don't know this stream here. So actually we have three unknowns, and by the way, what we could do is we can take the mole percents in the first stream and change them to mass percents. The reason not to do that is coming out we're given mole percents. In addition, we have to find mole fractions of N2 and O2. So we have our three unknowns. Those three unknowns are N1, N2, and N3. We can do two independent species balances, or one species balance and one overall balance. In addition, we have a calculation that we can use. And this calculation is from 700 kilograms per hour to a molar flow rate using an average molecular weight. So we have zero degrees of freedom, which means that we can then you solve this problem. So the first thing let's do is find the average molecular weight. So we take our 0.09 mole percent of methane and multiply it by the molar mass of methane, which is 16 grams per mole. And we add that 0.91 mole percent of air, and the molar mass of air is 29 grams per mole. And so we come up with an average molecular weight of 27.8 grams per mole. And that makes sense. You know that it's going to be closer to the molecular weight of air because it's 91 percent air. So now we take our 700 kilograms per hour, we divide it by 27.8 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per mole. And let's work with kilomoles rather than moles, otherwise we're going to have these really large numbers. So one kilomole has a thousand moles, and so we come out with 25.2 kilomoles per hour, which is our N1. Now that we've solved for N1, we can go ahead and do material balances in order to find 
N2 and N3. So we could do a methane and air balance. We can do an overall and methane balance. We can do an overall and air balance. Let's start by doing the overall balance. 25.2 plus N2 equals N3. And given the choice between an air balance and a methane balance, if you look at the problem, so let's go back up and look at this picture, what you'll notice is if you do a methane balance, methane only appears in two streams, N1 and N3. And we already know what N1 is, so it's easier to do a methane balance than an air balance, even though we could do either one and get the same answer. So the methane balance there's 9% methane in the 25.2 kilomoles coming in, and there's 5% of methane in N3. So that allows us to easily solve for N3. So our N3 equals 45.4 kilomoles per hour, and now N2 equals 20. 0.2 kilomoles per hour. So the next thing that our question asks is, how do we find the mole fractions coming out in the stream of both oxygen and nitrogen? So the first thing we have to do, because the oxygen and nitrogen are in the air, is we have to find the moles of air exiting. So that's just 0.95 times N3, which is 45.4 kilomoles per hour, and that's 43.1 kilomoles of air. So once we find the moles of air exiting, we can find the moles of O2 and N2 that are exiting. How do we do that? Well, 79% of air is N2, and 21% of air is O2, and that's in mole fractions. So 0.79 of 43.1, which are the kilomoles of air exiting, equals 34 moles of N2, and 43.1 minus 34 leaves us 9.1 moles of O2. And finally, we find the final mole fractions. And remember, our YO2, which is the mole fraction of oxygen, is the number of moles of O2 over total moles. Not moles of air, but total moles, which is 9.1 divided by 45.4, which is 0.20. YN2, we find the exact same way, 34 divided by 45.4, and that equals 0.75. This corresponds, 0.20 and 0.75, to the 0.95 mole percent of air in the final stream. So that's a check to make sure that we have done it correctly.